But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Just when we thought we were done with charity scams, there's another one popping right back up. This is the Mad Salvi, and I'm here again to let you know what's going on. Now, we all know about the recent thing that happened with Gerard Khalil and the Open Hand Foundation and everything that went along there. He kept the money for 10 years. Uh, he didn't give it to anybody. He didn't take it. He didn't, like, actually take it away because legally he couldn't because of the whole runnings with the 501c3. But he didn't give it for 10 years. Why? Because he wanted an ego boost. But people were expecting it to be given every single year that they gave as every single time. That's exactly what they expect. Now we have another issue that's popping up. A big influencer kind of charity organization. Well, it's, an, it's a charity organization that influencers went to when they wanted to do charity. It was called Soft Giving in the past. Now has rebranded into brand fluence they collected 42 percent once again almost half 42 percent of the donations of everybody who who went through and gave to gave during any of their charity donation drives anything that any of these big ones like xqc and other people did they took 42 percent for their own expenses supposedly I have not heard of any, any in between, any organization, any legitimate group of people who would take 42%. Yes, their administrative fees, sometimes it's like 5% or 2% or maybe even max 10%, which is still a lot in my opinion. But these people took almost half just for themselves. They enriched themselves from other people's charity. That is a scam. That is... Of course, since it, there's there's litigation going on and these people tend to sue people a lot, I'm just going to say for the sake of myself, it's an alleged scam. It is definitely not proper. I don't feel it's proper. In my personal opinion, I don't feel it's proper. I'm not an accountant, but I don't feel it's proper. But these guys are scumbags. I'll say that right now. I feel that they are scumbags. That's my opinion. That's not a legal definition. The, it, the scam part is not a legal definition, just to protect myself. Um... But this is just wrong. And from what I've heard, no streamer that ran through them had any clue. Because most people are just like, hey, you know, this is a big organization. It's trusted by a lot of people. My friends have used it. People that are that I know that are huge have used bland fluence. They soft giving slash brand fluence. They are a large organization. They're going to be good, right? They know what they're doing. They'll help me navigate through everything. Well, they navigated through your pocketbook pretty much. Jacob Wolf, as I as he's right here, on Twitter was the one who broke the story, the one who made the story, the one is the only reason that anybody knows about the issue that's going on here. He's the one who found it out, and I believe he used tax records. He's saying right here, in 2020 and 2021, soft giving and those influencers it raised a total of 6.2 million in donations, according to a publicly available tax records, because every year a 501c3 has to do taxes. Yet 2.6 million of that, roughly 42%, went to soft giving to cover its commission and expenses. No one else does that. As far as I know, no one takes 42%. $2.6 million richer they got by pretending to be an organization that gives to charities, and go, an in-between person that will be a liaison between you and charities. Including influencer fees, those public records show. I'll get to the influencer fees later. For 18 months during that period, soft giving did not prominently disclose on donation pages details payments about made to influencers that cut in to into total funds raised. It also wasn't clear about what percentage of donations it received as a commission. Now, I understand, like I said, commissions, you're in the you're the go-between, all that kind of stuff. Yes, you can possibly require a little bit, but I would say maybe 10% would be the majority, the max. And and that was their page recently. They had to just cut really short there, but like this is their thing. It's fundraise easily, a few short clicks. You can create your own fundraising campaigns. It makes it a lot easier because I personally don't know how to do fundraising. So that's why I've stayed away from it. But if you want to do a fundraising campaign, this is one of the big ones that people went for. Tiltify is another one, but this is the big one. Tiltify didn't take anywhere near as much as this. Like not even on the same plane of existence as these people when it comes to taking, you know, stuff more than they should. So here's the thing. Here's the continuation of the story. 
Compared to Soft Giving's competitors like Tiltify and Donor Drive, both of which Twitch recommends to streamers, the process of donation funds passing through another charity before making their way to their intended destination is unusual. In the scenario where a third party manages the funds without the charity's oversight, there's far more likelihood of misuse and profiteering. Zach Wagel, a CEO of Charity Gamers Outreach, said, Yes, once you have a go-between that doesn't let you know what's going on, they can just take money whenever they want, and it's exactly what they did. On those other services, charities sign up and pay a monthly or annual service fee to allow influencers to set up their campaigns. Tiltify does that. And Donor Drive, as far as I know, does that. Yes, they, the charities pay a small fee. You, They take a small fee from it because they're the ones, you know, making making it happen, making that connection happen. But they're very uh, thorough in everything. They're very transparent in everything. You know what's happening. As a part of the process, those charities authorize Tiltify and Donor Drive to assess a pre-agreed upon administration fee. So they work with it, work with the charities after donation has been received. The money is never held by the third party, so it goes directly to the charity. It's never like it'll go from you to Tiltify to the charity. It's directly to the charity, but kind of like a payment processor like PayPal will do. PayPal will charge you a fee to process your credit card payment. So will these guys. Tiltify will charge a fee for the the charities to process all the, the transferring of funds. This money is never held by them, and they simply connect to the charity Stripe, PayPal, Amazon, or, or other payment accounts. It's just like I said, just like a, a go between a PayPal, uh, uh, a payment authorization person. On top of a service fees, Tiltify, for example, charges anywhere from 3 to 5% fee, according to CEO Michael Wassman, making the sum of fees that cut into total donation approximately 10%. That's where I said 10% is pretty okay. It's pretty normal. It's pretty expected. It's not crazy. It's not like, oh my God, this is wild. But 42%, it's unheard of. It's freaking, it's theft. It's, in my opinion, in my layman's opinion, it's theft. It's scummy. It's scammy, allegedly. Again, because they are very litigious, I have to say that. Allegedly, this is all alleged. Nothing's been proven. Although, Josh, the person who's writing this, has gone through their tax records, so they can't hide anything. This has all been shown in tax records from what I understand. Soft Giving, which renamed itself to Brandfluence earlier this year, declined to provide executives for interviews and canceled multiple planned meetings during the reporting of this story. Instead... It filed a lawsuit, so it tried to sue Josh to not say this, to not put this out. Basically saying, you are going to be saying unsubstantiated things, we're going to sue you. But he has the proof. He has the receipts. The receipts are actually in the tax filings. This isn't a lie. This isn't him trying to, you know, bring somebody down. It is in the actual tax filings. On December 14th, prior to the publication of the piece, alleging that he had defamed the company, a letter written by attorney representing Brandfluence demanded that we not publish this piece. They, but they did say, we believe in investigative journalism and our First Amendment right to freedom of, of the press. Yet you're trying to suppress the press. You're trying to suppress it by lawsuits. Everyone is afraid of a lawsuit. Lawsuits, if it's big enough, like with Brandfluence and such, it could be millions of dollars that you're spending or minimum hundreds of thousands. That's something that people don't have. Organizations don't have this. That's how come organizations, seedy little places like this, weird little places like this can hide because they're like, hey, we got our big lawyers. We're sending you a cease and desist because it's defamation, blah, blah, blah. Don't put this out because it makes us look bad. That's pretty much what they were saying. We're going to use money and our fancy lawyers to make it so that you will not sue us because, hey, it looks really bad for us. I mean, not sue us. You will not say these things because it looks really bad. During 2022, Soft Giving raised more than 3.56 million in donations. According to tax records filed by the Gingva, Givinga Foundation, the pass through nonprofit that Soft Giving partners with, around 1.92 million of that ultimately went to the intended charities, nearly 1.65 million, roughly 46%, in 2022 went to Soft Giving in fundraising expenses the tax records show so this is tax records that show this they can't hide this they can't say oh you're getting this out of thin air you're getting this out of uh, i don't know what and that's the issue also according to uh asmund gold he has mentioned that he cannot mention very much he cannot say very much because they're still in litigation for it but he is suing soft giving for what they've done because he was under the impression as so were many other people, that they weren't going to be taking 42%, 40-something percent, that they were going to be doing the regular thing that Tiltify does, which is like, you know, 10%, like we mentioned before, but they were just enriching themselves from donations. That 
that once again, just like the Gerard Khalil thing in the Open Hands Foundation, it makes people not want to give to charity. It makes people always be like, is this person going to steal from me? Is this organization going to steal from me? Is this go between that this person is doing with Tiltify or any of the other ones? Are they going to, is my money actually going to go to these charities? Is my money actually going to go where I want it to go? You know, are they going to take the 46% cut? That's why I personally say, give directly to a charitable organization that you want. If, if you want to do breast cancer, there's a breast cancer association. There are every single major disability and major illness has reputable charities. Look up charities, charity uh, scorecards or charity um, report cards. Look up a charity report cards, charity, charity grading organizations. They'll let you know whether the charity is trustworthy or not. Do that instead of doing this because there are just way too many people that are trying to sweeten, sweeten themselves, you know, sweeten the pot, make it so that they get most of the money. Now, when it comes to Tiltify and the other one that, that was mentioned here before, they take reasonable. 10% is reasonable with all the legwork that they have to do to be a go-between and to make it so that it's easier for people to give. That's understandable. 40-something percent is not. Once again, I thank you for being here for my long rant. Of course, I always do rants like this. I apologize if it is very long for you guys. But I do want you to see everything that's going on. And I want it to be shouted to the mountaintops, shouted to, to everything out there so everyone knows. My social media is down below. My Twitch is above my head where you can go and see me Monday, Wednesday, Friday uh, around 10 a.m. And you can look at my VODs. You can see if, if it's something that interests you. Let me know about that. Also, there's going to be something on the screen that YouTube will have around these parts about you know videos that you want to see that you might find interesting take a look at those too i appreciate you this is the mad salvi saying i will see you guys next time and please if you want to give give directly to a charity don't go in the, in the go-betweens anymore i'm sorry it's just just the way it's gonna be thank you so much have a great day Bye bye